okay here is the next question when 5 volt potential difference is applied across a wire of length 0.1 meter the drift speed of electron is this much electron density this much the resistivity of material is close to this 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 okay what we are supposed to find out we are supposed to find out resistivity what is given to us length of wire length of wire 0.1 meter the voltage across v is equal to 5 volt drift speed drift speed of electron is 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 <coughs> if the electron density electron density we remember it is small n 8 into 10 to the power 28 okay these are the quantities uh, resistivity we have to find drift velocity and n that is given to us what are the relations do you remember any formula what we have to find out is resistivity so number 1 we must write a formula for resistivity the resistivity we know it is r divided by l into a is it okay yes okay hmm now uh, <clears throat> total resistance is it given no length given yes area not given we will start writing here the resistance is not given to us but voltage is given to us we know how voltage is converted into resistance so in place of resistance we will write voltage upon current and this is length this is area okay now again voltage is given to us length is given to us area is not given current is not given so again we change it current and drift velocity is given to us so we take the hint current is to be converted to drift velocity so we will write it voltage v current is equal to n e a and drift velocity this formula you all remember n e a v d and this is length into area so here area is cancelled now voltage is given n is given e we have in knowledge drift velocity is given l is given put the values and you get it okay let's put the values voltage is 5 5 upon n n is given to us uh, electron density 8 into 10 to the power 28 8 into 10 to the power 28 into 1. 6 ten to the power minus 19 into drift velocity is given to us drift velocity is this 2.5 into ten to the power minus 4 into length length is again given to us uh, 0.1 point one here it is voltage only so we will do this calculations and uh, do all these calculations and you will find out the answer and after doing the calculation it comes out to be 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 and ohm meter after doing all the cancellation you will find it and 
here we will see where it is so 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 5 ohm meter this is the right option okay now let's come to the next question it was a very simple one you have done it uh, many this type of questions the next question now we take is okay there are 15 bulbs each of 40 watt other this 5 fan this heater this operated by a voltage source of 220 volt in one house then rating of the fuse should be this 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 it is asking for our knowledge whether we know how the household <coughs> wiring is done <coughs> we have studied it ghar mein jitne bhi fan bulb or load hain sab ek dusre ke parallel hote they are parallel to each other this is household line in different rooms and from here we get the supply from outside in this supply here we fit a fuse now this line has got a particular capacity capacity means what rating rating means what if there is a current higher than a particular current the heat will be so much that the total wiring of the house will burn out so we must keep the current less than that so what we do we put a fuse in series with the house wiring so that when that current start flowing in it the high current this fuse will blow out first what are the properties of a fuse it should have a low melting point and it should have a high resistance due to resistance it will get heated up and due to low melting point it will melt when it melts then the circuit is broken and there is no more current in this and this wiring is saved that is the purpose of fuse anyway that is not asked what is asked what should be the rating of the fuse how we decide the rating of the fuse we calculate how much current is required in the circuit and our fuse will be slightly more than the current required not very high if it is very high it will allow very high current and then the complete circuit will burn out so then how load is connected see how load is connected there are 15 bulbs each of 40 watt this is say plus minus so from here these are 15 bulbs 40 watt how much will be the total load 40 watt 15 bulbs will be the load here then <coughs> 5 bulbs 100 watt plus from here minus from here and here are separate separate like this this each bulb will get a total supply of two how much 220 volt this is 220 volt so you see this bulb gets 220 this bulb gets 220 this bulb every bulb will get 220 between minus and plus in this way all these are fitted in parallel so these are what five bulb 100 watt 100 watt 5 bulb after that 5 fan 80 watt here we have 5 fan 80 watt 80 watt 5 fans 1 2 3 4 5 this we are making schematic diagram just to calculate the load ghar ke kamre aise nahi hai okay it is simply diagram for the load then we have one heater of one kilowatt here we have 
one heater and this is one kilowatt that is one thousand watt and this is only one okay other things are not given so now you see this is the circuit of the household and every instrument is connected across 220 volt is it a parallel or series connection doesn't matter to us for calculating the load anyway if it is asked is it parallel or series what will you reply it is parallel how much is the load how much is the load calculate load of each instrument add it up that's all don't try to find out net resistance it's a very long method don't go for that okay sabka load ginte jaiye okay now let's make the summary of the total energy used energy per second is watt power so for the 15 bulbs 40 watt 40 into 15 600 after that 5 bulbs 100 watt 100 watt 5 bulbs after that 5 fan 80 watt 80 watt 5 fan 400 1 kilowatt 1 heater kilowatt is 1000 watt 1 heater is equal to 1000 how much is the total power required whether they are in parallel everything when they are in parallel they use their full power according to the rated voltage if they are in connected to the rated voltage they will use full power so all of them are using this full power so how much is the total power required add it up this will be 2500 watt okay now we know the formula for power power is voltage into current or current is equal to power upon voltage current is power is 2500 and voltage is 220 that is given to us So this is the current comes to be 11.3 something or 11.4 ampere maximum now that is the current here and when this current is flowing then the current should continue the circuit should not be broken when it should be broken the answer is when there is some fault and current goes beyond this now we will see the fuse which will just close to 11.3 a little higher than 11.3 so that current is permitted but if current rise it should fuse so if fuse is 10 ampere with 11.3 it will blow with 12 ampere it will not blow 14 ampere will not blow 8 ampere will blow up so which is the nearest one 12 ampere it should be higher but nearest so this is our right answer 12 ampere so this is how it is done it's a very simple question you might have done it in class 10th also okay so but it's very practical thing in our household use we have to use it we go to the next question now read the question try to imagine the circuit
Okay, now what do you understand by rating? Rating of a bulb means if we give 220 volt here, it will give us a power of 25 watt. But if we don't give it 220 volt, it will not give 25 watt. Okay, if we give less or more, then what will happen? The answer is if we give it less voltage, the current will be less and therefore the power which is I square R or V square upon R that will also be less. Voltage 220 volt rated voltage hai. Agar usse kam voltage denge to ye power kam dega. Kyoki power ka formula hai V square upon R. Agar zyada denge to kya hoga? What will happen if we give the higher voltage? The answer the current will be more the heating I square R will be more than it can bear. Every instrument can bear a particular current because that heating it can radiate. Jitni current say heat banegi, utni heat ko usko radiate out karna hai. If it cannot do, then heat will accumulate, its temperature will rise and finally it will melt. Which is melt ho jayegi, jisko hum kehte bulb ka fuse hona. इस तरह से अगर हायर वोल्टेज देंगे बल्ब फ्यूज हो जाएगा लोअर वोल्टेज देंगे थोड़ा कम वोल्टेज दिखाएगा लेकिन फ्यूज नहीं होगा ओके नाउ व्हाट इज आवर क्वेश्चन आवर क्वेश्चन इज बोथ द बल्ब्स विल फ्यूज वन बल्ब विल फ्यूज सेकंड बल्ब विल फ्यूज नो बल्ब विल फ्यूज तो मैंने अभी आपको क्या बताया कि फ्यूज क्यों होगा अगर वोल्टेज ज्यादा मिलेगी किससे ज्यादा जितने उसके ऊपर रेटिंग लिखी हुई है उससे ज्यादा तो यहां पर रेटिंग 220 वोल्ट है इसकी भी 220 वोल्ट है इसको हमने 440 वोल्ट लगाया दोनों आधा आधा बांट लेंगे 220 220 नो no. आधा आधा नहीं बांटेंगे बिकॉज बल्ब इज बेसिकली ए रेसिस्टेंस एंड द वोल्टेज विल बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड अकॉर्डिंग टू देयर रेसिस्टेंस उसमें अगर किसी का वोल्टेज 220 से ज्यादा हो गया तो वो फ्यूज हो जाएगा सो so बेसिकली ये क्वेश्चन में हमारे बहुत सारे नॉलेज के टेस्ट हैं पहला वेदर वी नो दैट बल्ब इज अ रेसिस्टेंस आंसर यस वी नो बल्ब इज अ रेसिस्टेंस और उसके कनेक्शन वैसे ही होते हैं जैसे रेसिस्टेंस के कनेक्शन ठीक है पावर वी नो पावर इज वी इनटू आई और विद रेसिस्टेंस इट इज वी स्क्वायर अपॉन आर ठीक है नाउ इन ए बल्ब व्हेन वी चेंज ए वोल्टेज व्हाट डस चेंज आंसर द करंट चेंज द पावर चेंज इन ए बल्ब व्हेन वी चेंज द वोल्टेज व्हाट डस नॉट चेंज क्या चीज नहीं चेंज होती है बल्ब में आंसर है रेसिस्टेंस चेंज नहीं होता आप कोई भी वोल्टेज लगाइए उसकी पावर कम हो जाएगी ज्यादा हो जाएगी पर क्या चीज नहीं बदलेगी रेसिस्टेंस बिकॉज़ दैट इज हार्डवेयर that is material in that or wo material hamari voltage badalne se material to nahi badlega so resistance will never change so it has got resistance r1 it has got resistance r2 how much is r1 and r2 we can very well calculate it r1 is equal to we know the formula p is equal to v square upon r Okay, you know both the formulas I square into R, V square upon R. So, with V its relation is V square upon R. So, for first R1 is equal to V square upon P. From where we have to take the V, the rated voltage. Kisi bhi bulb ka resistance nikalne ke liye applied voltage mat use kariye. Fir se बल्ब का रेसिस्टेंस निकालने के लिए अप्लाइड वोल्टेज यूज नहीं करनी है उसके ऊपर जो
Okay, this is the resistance. Now R2. Again V square divided by power. Power 100. Okay, these are the two resistances, 1936 and 484. Now you understand how the voltage will be divided in it. The answer is voltage across, we know that current flowing is same in hit. So I into R1 is V1. I into R2 is V2 divide the 2 so this is R1 upon R2 is equal to V1 upon V2 this is V1 upon 440 minus V1 so we get it here R1 upon R2 R1 upon R2 Put the values 1936 upon 484 is equal to V1 upon 440 minus V1. Okay, now this leads to this we can cancel. See, it is a multiplication of 4. Yes. So this is 4 to 1. Now we can multiply this. V1 is 352 volt and here it is distributed. If this is 352 volt, then rest will be here. V1 will be 352 and this minus 352, that is 88 volt. This is V2. V1 352 volt. Now see the conditions in both. What we discussed earlier, if voltage applied is less than the rated voltage, voltage applied is less than the rated voltage, the power will become less but it will not fuse. If the voltage applied is more than the rated voltage, the current will be so high it will get heated up and it will fuse. So, जैसे ही हम इसको switch on करेंगे, this voltage will be 352 distributed, which is much higher than the rated voltage, and this 25 watt will fuse. Okay, दूसरे का क्या होगा? The moment it is fused, the circuit is broken, and it will not fuse. So, do we have any answer? 25 watt bulb will fuse. This is the right option. Both the bulb will fuse. This will never happen because the moment one fuse circuit is broken. Dusra bach jayega hamesha. Okay. So our answer is 25 will fuse. No bulb will fuse is also not correct. At higher voltage it will not stick. It will fuse off. Okay. Let's go to the next question now. See this question and read it. <laughs> 
रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ लीड वायर इज सिक्स ओम ये जो पूरी लीड वायर कमरे की है उसके लिए मैं यहां लिख लेता हूं सिक्स ओम इट रिप्रेजेंट द रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ कंप्लीट वायर ओके वन बल्ब ऑफ सिक्सटी वॉट इज केप्ट ऑन इन दिस रूम दिस इज ए सिक्सटी वॉट बल्ब इनिशियली सिर्फ ये बल्ब जल रहा है ये 120 ट्वेंटी वोल्ट सप्लाई है द करेंट गोज फ्रॉम हियर इट कम्स फ्रॉम हियर दैट्स ऑल सेकेंड तो जब ऐसे करेंट फ्लो हो रही है देर इज सम पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस अक्रॉस दिस इसको कुछ ना कुछ पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस मिल रहा होगा ठीक है अब हमने इसको स्विच ऑन किया स्विच ऑन करने से ये करेंट यहां भी जाती है यहां भी जाती है दोनों में जाती है तो क्या इसकी वोल्टेज सेम रहेगी या गिर जाएगी वी विल फाइंड आउट पर आप याद रखिए ये वोल्टेज ड्रॉप हो जाएगी ओके okay. इन्होंने यही पूछा है कि ये ड्रॉप होगी कितनी ड्रॉप होगी तो हमको ड्रॉप निकालने के लिए दो वोल्टेज निकालनी पड़ेगी वट वॉज द ओरिजिनल वोल्टेज एंड वट इज दोल्टेज आफ्टर स्विचिंग ऑन दी हीटर हीटर ऑन करने के बाद वोल्टेज कितनी हो गई वॉट इज द डिफरेंस हाउ मच विल बी दी डिक्रीज ओके सो पहले इनिशियल वोल्टेज निकालते हैं कैसे निकालेंगे वोल्टेज फॉर्मूला जो हमने पिछले क्वेश्चन में यूज किया था सेम यूज करना है वेन इट इज ऑफ देन देर इज ओनली दिस सिक्सटी वॉट How much is 60 watt bulb? Supply voltage in one room is 120. Resistance of one wire is 6 ohm. One bulb of 60 watt. Its rated voltage is not given. We understand the rated voltage is this voltage supplied, 120 volt. So, its resistance will be how much? Resistance for bulb is equal to what is if? formula for resistance that is v square upon p power फ्यूज मत हो ये ये 60 वॉट है 240 फोर्टी रेसिस्टेंस है इसका 60 रेसिस्टेंस है इसका 240 पावर है ठीक है तो हमने देखा जिसका जिसकी पावर ज्यादा उसका रेसिस्टेंस कम वी ऑल नो दैट ओके तो पहले इसके अक्रॉस कितनी वोल्टेज थी हाउ टू फाइंड इट We will make this circuit here. See, six ohm, and this is two forty ohm. This is one twenty volt. How much is the voltage here? Okay. 
सिक्स आई प्लस टू फोर्टी आई आई सिक्स एंड टू फोर्टी टू फोर्टी सिक्स आई इज इक्वल टू वन ट्वेंटी वोल्ट देयर फोर हाउ मच इज द वोल्टेज हियर हियर वोल्टेज इज टू फोर्टी इन टू आई देयर फोर टू फोर्टी आई इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व इंटू टू फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय टू फोर्टी सिक्स not it is 120 okay टू फोर्टी सिक्स टू फोर्टी प्लस सिक्स टू फोर्टी सिक्स इंटू आई इज वन ट्वेंटी सो टू फोर्टी इंटू आई इज वन ट्वेंटी इंटू टू फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई टू फोर्टी सिक्स solve it 117.7 volt okay so the voltage across bulb this is voltage across bulb in case 1 is equal to 117.7 aap dekhiye calculate karke kitna aata is it coming same okay Zero seven. Okay, I will correct it. This is zero seven. This is the voltage across bulb in the first case. Now we come to the second case. Second case, कब होगा? जब हम इसको switch on करेंगे. When we switch on the heater, then what will happen? Then the circuit will be like this see 6240 and 120 so we have to find out what is voltage here now 240 and 60 they are parallel to each other if they are parallel to each other then what will be the total resistance total resistance will be 60 into of uh, 240 60 240 60 correct 60 into 240 divided by 60 plus 240 300 This is 48 ohm together. So now it is be 120 volt, 6 ohm, 6, 240 and 60 in parallel. This has come to 48. हमको कहा की वोल्टेज चाहिए हमको इसकी वोल्टेज चाहिए वट इज दी अक्रॉस दिस यानी फोर्टी एट के अक्रॉस कितनी वोल्टेज है दिस वोल्टेज वी वॉन्ट टू नो दिस इज वन ब्रांच द करेंट फ्लोइंग इज आई सो वट इज दोल्टेज हियर सिक्स आई वट इज दोल्टेज हियर फोर्टी एट आई हाउ मच इज द टोटल 54i, 54i voltage is equal to 120 volt. I will write it here. 54i is equal to 120 volt. Therefore, 48i is equal to 120 into 48 divided by 
54. Okay. Six eights are six nine. This is again three. Three threes are nine. Forty. Three hundred twenty upon three. This is one hundred six point six seven volt. So now the voltage across this will be hundred six point six seven. This hundred six point six is across both. इसको भी उतनी वोल्टेज मिलेगी इसको भी उतनी ही मिलेगी पहले कितनी मिल रही थी पहले हमने निकाली 117 मिल रही थी सो वट इज दिक्रीज डिक्रीज वन वन सेवन पॉइंट सेवन माइनस वन हंड्रेड सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन सो दिस इज सेवनटीन माइनस सिक्स नाइन पॉइंट समथिंग Do we have any answer? A, B, C, D. So the answer, which is very close, sorry, not nine, seventeen minus six, it is already ten point something. Okay, so this is the nearest answer, ten point zero four. अब आप और correctly करेंगे, you will uh, find out. Yes. This was not seven. Oh, sorry. This was zero seven. Zero seven. And now you see it comes to ten point four. Whatever it is, so if it is ten, we know this is the right answer. This gives us a principle. अगर बल्ब के पैरेलल में कोई दूसरा हीटर लगेगा, जब भी वो स्टार्ट होगा, तो बल्ब के अक्रॉस वोल्टेज कम हो जाएगी एंड इट विल शो ए डिप राइट मीटर करेंट इन द प्राइमरी सर्किट इज जीरो पॉइंट टू एम्पियर स्पेसिफिक रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ वायर इज सो मच क्रॉस सेक्शन एरिया इज सो मच पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट अक्रॉस द वायर मस्ट बी दिस 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 वट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट इज पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट की पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट का फॉर्मूला क्या होता है जस्ट रिमेंबर पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट फॉर ए पोटेंशियो मीटर इज पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप डिवाइडेड बाई टोटल लेंथ पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप पर यूनिट लेंथ इज पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट ओके नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट दीज क्वान्टिटीज फ्रॉम हियर सो पोटेंशियल इज इट गिवन टू अस वी विल ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट दिस क्वान्टिटी इन टू द गिवन क्वान्टिटीज ओके लेट्स डू इट वोल्टेज इज करेंट इन टू रेसिस्टेंस करेंट इन टू रेसिस्टेंस करेंट आई इज इट गिवन Yes. So we will keep it I. Resistance not given. So resistance ka formula likhenge. That is rho L upon A. Resistance and this L is here. So I into rho into L L A L L is cancelled. I rho into A rho. What is that resistivity? Specific resistance given. I given. A 
area of cross section it is given if these three things are given you can find it to isme catch kahan hai isme catch hai that if uh, we know the formulas of potential gradient resistance in terms of resistivity we can make it हमें पोटेंशियल ग्रेडियंट निकालना है V अपॉन L और हम यहां देख रहे हैं हमको क्या क्या दिया गया है स्पेसिफिक रेसिस्टेंस करेंट एंड एरिया ऑफ क्रॉस सेक्शन सो वी ट्राई टू कन्वर्ट वोल्टेज नहीं चाहिए वी कन्वर्टेड इन टू आई इंटू आर क्यों क्योंकि I दिया है सो वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इन टू आई इंटू आर R हमको नहीं दिया है पर स्पेसिफिक रेसिस्टेंस दिया है सो इट इज स्पेसिफिक रेसिस्टेंस इन टू एल अपॉन ए एंड वी नो एल इज नॉट गिवन एल एल कैंसल हो गया वी गेट इट दिस वे तो आपको जितने एडजस्टमेंट करने हैं पहले उसको अल्जेब्रिक फॉर्म फॉर्मूला में ही कर लीजिए सो दैट इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी वेन यू पुट द वैल्यू अलग अलग चीज की वैल्यू निकालने की कोशिश मत करिए सॉल्व इट कैंसल इट जितना आप कर सकते हैं ऐसा ही कर लीजिए एंड नाउ यू फाइन इट्स वेरी इजी आई की वैल्यू हमने यहां रख दी 0.2 पॉइंट टू देन रो की वैल्यू रख दी 4 इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस सेवन और उसके बाद ए की वैल्यू यहां पे रखी दिस ए इज 8 इंटू टेन टू दावर माइनस सेवन ऑल आर इन एस आई वैल्यूज सो विल पुट इट लाइक दिस Zero point one, and what is its unit? Volt per meter. Zero point one volt per meter. यहाँ पर है क्या? Yes. Here it is. Zero point one volt per meter. So this is our right option for it. Okay. Let's go to the next question now. फोर हंड्रेड ओम रेसिस्टेंस इज ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम फोर रेसिस्टेंसेज ईच ऑफ वैल्यू हंड्रेड प्लस फाइव परसेंट वी हैव फोर रेसिस्टेंस एंड वी हैव टू मेक वन रेसिस्टेंस आउट ऑफ इट सो दीज आर द फोर रेसिस्टेंसेज वी नो हाउ टू मेक फोर हंड्रेड ओम फ्रॉम हंड्रेड ओम ईच we have to put them in series okay so okay this will become 400 but the question is how much is tolerance because each of them is not exactly 100 it is 100 plus minus 5% so the first one may be minimum 95 minimum 95 and how much it will be maximum 105 second one will be like this third one again like this and fourth one also like this what is the probable minimum value probable minimum value this is 380 what is the probable maximum value 420 what is the mean value four in series mean value is 400 how much is the tolerance it can decrease by 20 it can increase by 20 so how much is tolerance tolerance is deviation divided by mean value into 100 so 
so this deviation is 20 plus 20 minus 20 mean value is 400 400 into make it percentage multiplied by 100 so this is equal to 5% plus minus तो देखिए एरर में हमको क्या नियम याद था if we add the quantities the errors will be added the errors will be multiplied यहां कुछ नहीं हुआ because our total value has also increased so what will be our answer here this is the appropriate answer and this is how we can conclude it देख लीजिए अगर सब की मिनिमम वैल्यू लेते हैं इससे कम तो हो ही नहीं सकता इससे ज्यादा भी हो ही नहीं सकता तो मीन वैल्यू से डेविएशन है कितना आइदर प्लस 20 और माइनस 20 तो प्लस 20 माइनस 20 400 में डेविएशन है तो 100 में कितना होगा 5% सो दिस इज द डेविएशन वी हैव डन इट ओके सो वी क्लोज इट टुडे इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल बी डूइंग मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट of electric current. Thank you.